distance between the place that you live and the place that you would call your home. Um, Lord John Worfin says that home is where you hang your hat. And I think that this quote goes hand in hand with another more well-known quote that says home is where the heart is. Um, I would like to explain to you why I believe that there's a difference between the place that you live and the place that you can call your home. Using three examples, the first being moving away to college, living with roommates, the second would be living at home with your parents, and the third would be my personal belief of what a home should be. So the first would be moving away to college. There's um, the whole feeling where you move away and you're living with your roommates. Now, um, there's there's a difference because, because your roommates are not your family, so you're just living with these people. Sure, like in the end, you might like get really close to them and might see them as part of your um, extended family, but you still have your family at home. So we just see the difference between living with your roommates and then going back home to your family where you have all your loved ones. Um, your my second example would be living at home, living with your parents. Um, not everybody you know, enjoys living with their parents and don't really consider living with their parents their home because they feel more comfortable somewhere else than they call them, but some other place their home, like living, you know, with their boyfriend or, you know, at a friend's house that they feel more comfortable with. You know, then they might call that place their home versus living at, living at home even though they are with their family. And then my third example is um, what I would personally consider a home. To me, a home is a place where you feel comfortable and where you are with the people that are most dear to you, that you care most truly with, and that you enjoy spending your day, your day with, your day-to-day -day life with, you know, that's the place that I would consider a home. And you know, like it takes it takes a lot to create a home, not just a house where you live with people. There's a, to me, there's a distinct difference between living in a house with people and living in a home with people you really um, do care about. So um, um, I would just like to. Um, close by saying that home is where the heart is. All right, Susanna, I like the visualization that you have for your attention device, uh, kind of the contrasting points of view and the way you uh, define them differently. Uh, you've got a good solid description of what your thesis is and there's an excellent preview of what the content's going to be, so all the structural stuff sounds like it's fine. During the speech, you do a pretty good job making transitions and indicating where you are, uh, so there's not a real problem there. Uh, from presentation issues, I think that you have a tendency to um, you know, kind of uh, lean or, or shift your weight in one direction. It's not quite swaying, but it does feel a little bit like uh, you're trying to get to emphasize a point without moving from the one spot that you're in. Um, yeah, let me see. You also have a tendency to kind of look up at the 
the ceiling and off in the corner whenever you're uncertain about something or as you're thinking about the next point. And I never really felt like you engaged with the audience. You look out occasionally, but it's not really like you are connecting with the audience. And I think that's a little bit of a problem. The gesture that you have is very repetitive. And that might be one of the reasons that it really feels like you're doing that swaying thrust thing that I was talking about before, because your gesture is always with the one hand. It's always very similar. It feels like you keep going, you know, off to the left here a little bit or off to the right. I guess I should say, you know, as you were uh, talking, and it, and that's where all of your indicators are, and uh, and you never and, and never feels uh, as natural as it ought to be. I thought the end of the speech was uh, pretty solid, except that you could use a little bit more of a summary in the presentation. Uh, mostly, your anxiety comes out in that body sway, your eyes, and uh, the gestures. You're going to have trouble seeing some of this because for some reason. Uh, I guess maybe you're not quite as tall as some of the other speakers are. You're pretty much hidden by Blake 80% uh, of the time. You know, it's just one of those things. You you never get to the center of the room, per se. It's You're kind of just slightly off, and as a consequence, you're going to see yourself pop out a few times when you watch the video. And and But that'll, that, that may emphasize what I'm talking about when I say it seems like you're really kind of thrusting when you're doing that body gesture. It just feels a little out of place. All right, thank you.